It's like I know when I feel something new is happening, but it's like it's like really birthing into this newer energy is um, it's not comfortable. That's that's the best way I can word it. It's not comfortable. It's uncomfortable. It feels um, like you just want to give up, and um, it's almost like you feel like you're being pulled in more than one direction. So. The reason the flow was coming through with the light language is because I immediately started to feel into the frequency of what really happened in the beginning of time. And what really happened was that the feminine was first. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a male. It was a, it was a female. The females were first. That feminine energy was first on earth. And she had to uh, be in her strength and her glory and her honor. See, I see a sign that says, I'm tree. I am tree, the tree of life, you know, because we are the tree of life, the goddess, okay? We're the tree of life. We, we hold the knowledge and the wisdom. And so we, we, we desire to have a companion. We desire to have a companion. We desire to connect to another part of ourselves. And, um, and so because it has been so ingrained in, within our uh, DNA with having to take care of so many things that by the time things started to unravel with uh, having a divine masculine connecting to us and connecting to that energy, I just saw a two on a license plate. That's confirmation of the spirit. And the two became one flesh. We became one. And so we were shut down. We were shut down. We shut ourselves down. And we disconnected. And so we gave birth to the sun. We gave birth to a new light, to a new dawn. And we, we worked through releasing through the darkness. And so even though the story was told as if there was the male that desired the companion of a female, it was the other way around. And, you know, I've always seen Eve on license plate all the time, over and over and over again. Like, every week, it's at least twice a week. So I know who I am as the original Eve, the original template of the Divine Feminine. And how I felt, you know, with feeling um, as if I have to be doing everything by myself. And it's just be like, you know, yes, I am the co-creator. I'm in the energy of co-creation right now. So, of course, the way it's going to look on the outside, it just looks chaotic. And it feels chaotic. It feels like I'm not having a handle on things. And at the same time, I am because it's not my physical self that how this is all happening. It is through my energy body. It's the galactic part of me and the earthly part of me that is co-creating and weaving all of this like a, like a magical basket. And so the way how it's going to feel and look is quite uh, uh, intense. It's very intense. It feels like, um, uh, like it, it really feels like I'm in a, the birth canal. 
Like really when you're pushing through and pu like I'm pushing through and I'm pushing through and pushing through until I feel like I'm finally going to give birth to something. And I feel like this month for me, June is like my graduation day in a sense because the solstice represents the merging merging on both sides it's like i'm merging the cosmic and earthly my inner divine masculine inner divine feminine the ch inner child the mother the father i'm merging all these parts of myself you know i had to go into separation of myself by breaking down the pieces to identify what it's like to go through certain experiences as a child what it's like to go through certain experiences as the mother certain experiences as the father uh, the giver and the receiver, um, you know, all the duality experiences is what I had to keep breaking down. And so now uh, that I've identified all of myself and bringing myself back together, and it's like, it's like when you're going through this process, it's like rewinding back. And when you're rewinding back, it's like you're taking some, leaving some, taking some, leaving some. So that's why the energy feels like as if you're fighting against yourself. But actually, it's happening simultaneously. So it's like I'm having all these simultaneous simultaneous experiences. And uh, and it brings in doubt. And it also brings in uh, a feeling of despair and despond feeling despondent. Um, and there's also the inner joy and the sadness. So it's like I'm integrating all the emotional parts of myself with all the experiences that I've had throughout lifetimes and um and now making more room for what I'm healing with as far as the divine masculine aspect that I felt was missing and I've been so used to uh taking care of villages people places situations children um and it often had felt um like as if it's so much and 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 to the <laughs> So the, the respect of how it feels like so much is like I'm releasing that part of myself into feeling as if I'm doing it alone. And I'm, and I'm now moving through allowing the universe to bring things towards me with a greater ease and joy um, regardless of how it looks on the outside or regardless of how it's showing up within me with how, you know, with the process that I'm going through, because it's still happening so fast that it's speeding up so fast and quickly, like a speed of light that I'm feeling it in my solar plexus. I'm feeling it internally. Um, and it's also bringing me into certain elements during my dream state as well. And, um, I don't feel like I'm battling myself in the dream state, but I feel like as if I'm pulling things together, I'm pulling things together while it looks like it's falling apart. So that's what it's like. Like I'm pulling th things together and cosmically it's almost like using my hands and I'm weaving this magic and I'm weaving this energy to everything, to what I'm bringing. And it is always through the chaos that things come into order. In order to have order, we must have the chaos because chaos and order work together until it neutralizes itself until it comes to that place of, of peace, even if it doesn't look that way on the outside. So that's why what I'm noticing again and why I'm recording this is that the element of the divine feminine is how she is bringing herself together through her divine masculine energy as well, um, where it's not singly single anymore. And that uh, the parts of ourself that looks to... Uh, uh, to create things into form, how we how we process things in a linear fashion, how it makes sense for you, and then in and then instead of it being one sided, we're uh, balancing out the parts of ourselves that also uses the intuition and follow the feelings of the heart, but then also apply logic to it as well. So that way, it's not out of balance or out of bounds either. So this is what I'm receiving as a message today, uh, June 7, 2019, and so it is. Namaste.
We make hand-me-downs look designed Holdings in the eye of the beholder Love you, girl Just